so welcome to another foodie friday um so as you can see i started the day with some coffee and little miss shayla had her um oh sorry if my arm's shaking um little miss shayla had her probiotic um oatmeal and her um i think it was like orange banana puree on the side so it was much much later i didn't eat anything um other than coffee well, you don't eat coffee, but I didn't have anything other than the coffee. Um, and it's now two 30. That was at like, um, 11 o'clock or 10 30 that we were having um, breakfast. We call it brunch around here because my little miss Shayla gets up super late. Um, so it's a cloudy day here. It's also laundry day. So we are rocking pajamas <laughs> today. Um, just super comfortable. I just have like some household chores to do and, um, things like that. So typically by today I would have meal planned already and we would have already gotten our groceries, but just with St. Patrick's day and a couple of other things, we ended up having a lot of leftovers and we had some nights where we took, got takeout and things like that. So, um, today is the day that I'm going to, uh, meal plan for the week. So I actually decided to start cleaning out my fridge, um, just to decide what I was going to have for lunch. And Oh, my eggs are ready. So I um, decided to make a salad for lunch because I had lettuce that looked like it needed to be used now or never type of situation. And so I boiled some eggs so that I could add some eggs in there. Um, and that's what we're going to have for lunch. So I will show you that when it is ready. Shayla is down um, right now for her night. Okay, so I have the hard boiled eggs cooling in some ice cold water. Um, in the meantime, I thought I would do a quick haul, show you guys some things that we got in the mail today. Um, these are all from Amazon. So we got this, um, it's called a grapple. It's um, a toy teether that sticks, um, the bottom has like a suction cup so you can stick it onto the height chair. Um, stops the pickup game, keeps toys off the floor, holds three toys made of silicone, BPA free. Um, yeah, stick, flip, and play, and it comes with, um, three, blah, 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 has three teethers included with it. Um, yeah, so little Miss Shayla is at that stage where, um, she can, she actually enjoys sitting in her high chair, and she would sit there and hang out for quite a bit, as long as you give her some toys. Um, however, she's at that stage where she thinks it's funny for her to throw stuff off of the high chair, so we're gonna see what she thinks of this bad boy. Then we also have another teether. This is just a little, little nibblers, little carrot teether. And just some extra um, binkies, passies. I think we call, I think we call them passies. Um, she's about to be one in May. Um, so I'm not quite concerned yet about the whole, you know, pacifier situation. Um, she doesn't, at this particular point in time, she doesn't really use the pacifier too much other than for nap times and when she's going to sleep for the night. Even then she ends up spitting it out typically at some point. So um, I don't know if that's something that they pick up on later where it becomes like a big issue where they wanna keep the pacifier in their mouth all day. Um, my experienced mamas, you can let me know, but for now it's not an issue. So, and she does find them soothing at night and we somehow seem to misplace all of them all the time. So we always need extras on hand. I also got another Stitch Fix box. Um, this was awfully quick but i think it's because i held the other box hostage i think since i ended up keeping everything i think once that once they received payment for that they were able to send out my next box box my last box rather quickly so let me know below would you guys be interested in seeing another stitch fix opening next week or is that too soon and would you rather me do it on insta story and just like show it to you guys on my instagram i want to start using my instagram more especially my insta story so let, help mama out let me know below should she do an unboxing on youtube or should i just do it on instagram and if you want to see it on instagram don't forget to follow lippy housewife on instagram okay so here is the finished product i cannot wait to eat the salad it looks so good it's just like a little bit of everything there's some lettuce tomatoes egg obviously um some black olives some salami and turkey. And what else did I find? Oh, and um, banana peppers, some cheddar cheese, and then I'm going to use this Thousand Island dressing. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so it's much, much later in the day. Um, this vlog is an absolute hot mess. Um, so let me show you guys what I'm eating for dinner tonight. It's very unhealthy. Um, so let's just get that out of the way now. Hey guys, it is Thursday night, which means it is Grey's Anatomy night. So I am looking forward to sitting in bed and eating this. So 
This is the chili that I had left over from last night. On Wednesdays and Thursdays, I usually only cook one of the nights. And then I usually eat leftovers because my husband works late those two nights, which I mentioned before. And it's a craft shoot whether or not he's going to actually want dinner or not that night. So I get annoyed if I actually cook and then he doesn't eat. So um, tonight is leftover. So the chili is just um, tomato sauce, like from the can. Um, I use just straight sauce because my husband doesn't like tomato. So it's just the sauce. Um, ground beef, kidney beans, and then I use like a pre-packaged, um, you know, chili seasoning packet. Or set is cheddar cheese on top, and it is sitting on top of a, yep, you guessed it, baked potato. I'm going to put on some sour cream, and at least Mama is drinking some ice water. I am just sitting here watching Grey's Anatomy. Eating some cake. Um, it was my sister-in-law's birthday the day before St. Patrick's Day, and one of her friends made her this delicious cake that we got to go home with quite a few <laughs> slices of. Good morning. So it's the next day. It is Friday. Today is the day that this vlog is going to go up. Um, I got most of the editing done yesterday, so I'm pretty much done, except when I was editing, I noticed that there really wasn't that much going on because I really didn't eat that much, and I didn't even get to show you, like, Shayla's dinner. Um, so anywho, I have mentioned to you guys, and I think I've shown before in some of my other videos, how we meal plan. So I thought since today I have to actually place an order with Peapod, I would just include that in the footage and show you guys how we complete the meal planning process. So I always start off by kind of taking an inventory and just seeing what we have that's still good in the fridge and, you know, in our pantry. And then I kind of go off of that. And so I think I showed you guys this last time, which is where for breakfast, I usually have um, up to three options. So you can see here, I have the overnight oats, avocado toast and smoothies. Um, and then for lunch, I have, I'm going to be having grilled cheese, um, frozen eggplant. It says frozen eggplant recipes because my mother-in-law picked us up some eggplant from Tra Trader Joe's that probably I will only eat and not my husband. So I was thinking, that uh, thinking of looking up a couple of ideas on Pinterest other than like your basic like mozzarella and um, you know sauce even though that's probably what I'll just end up going with because I can just make a big tray of it and then um, you know divide it out like prep it and here I count up how much dinners we would need how many dinners we would need until the next time that we would grocery shop and then um, you know, I just kind of iron out. I don't put the days yet on here. That I do after I get all the groceries, but I just kind of set myself up to make sure that everything I'm ordering um, will have so us. So then here, cover. what I normally do is I will just add things to my cart by using the, um, I'll go down the list that I sh just showed you guys of, you know, the meals that I'll be having, make sure whatever ingredients I don't have, I will add them to my cart here. And then I will also keep, um, Pinterest opened because a lot of my ideas come from Pinterest like my this thing I have to clean up it's like so crazy how many <laughs> boards I have here that like I haven't even looked through or used I mean what did people do before Pinterest I could literally spend literally I could literally spend all day um you know on Pinterest so I wanted to show you in the midst of me getting distracted um, they also, the Peapod website, um, also, this is not sponsored by the way, all 150 of my viewers, just so you know. Um, anywho, yeah, so I just, it just dawned on me that, um, it is Lent and I never follow, I, we don't go to church like I should, right? I'm Catholic, um, it is Lent and my parents did used to as I was growing up and even in my adulthood, young adulthood life, like practice the whole, you know, not eating meat on Fridays. Um, and I noticed as I looked on my dinner list here, everything is legit meat. So I might end up switching one of those meals out with one of these because these are looking yummy. I mean, like, look at this for lunch, depending on how much ingredients, because my husband would never eat this, but um, I would definitely make that for myself for lunch. Or I don't know. A lot of this stuff looks good. Maybe fish taco. So we'll see. I might be making a couple of changes to the menu. Okay. So I totally got distracted with that whole seafood, <laughs> uh, that seafood, um, ah, seafood recipe section that they had there. And I ended up pinning a couple of them that I didn't want to get just yet. And then some of them I ended up including in, uh, the grocery list moving forward. So I'm just going to show you one, like, I'm not going to go through this entire list because then this 
um, video will go from having not much going on to just too much boredom. I don't, I just don't want to bore any of you. So here's the list, right? So let's start with overnight oats, for example. I know that I saved a recipe to an overnight oats that I want. I know I have an overnight oat recipe that I actually been wanting to try. Um, if I can just remember, here we go. Okay, so I put that in my meal prep board. Start with banana bread overnight oats. Like how yummy does that sound? So let's just click on there and see what ingredients we will need. Banana, rolled oats, maple syrup, cinnamon, yada, 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 yada. So most of these things I have already. So I will just put in here because I was planning on making this like two weeks ago and then I never did. So some of the ingredients I still have and some I do not. So now we will move over here onto pea pod. And obviously, very simply, I will just put in the ingredients and then just add them. Um, voila. And then I will just do this all the way down the list. Okay, so that pretty much gives you guys a basic idea of how we go about meal planning and grocery shopping. Um, I would love to see how some of you guys do your meal planning. So if you have a video that you can leave linked below or just let me know in the comments, like, hey, check out my channel um, and leave your links to your channel, I would be more than happy to check them out because I love learning and growing with my other YouTubers and especially my YouTube mamas. Um, so I'm going to finish up this grocery list and then I'm going to get this video up for you guys. Um, which brings me to my next topic really quickly. This week seems to be what I'm more capable of doing rather than the three. I really did have high hopes of doing like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but the more I'm thinking about it, I'm just feel like with VIP kid, with um oh speaking of i have to prep for a class tonight i i decided to open the time slot to teach a night class which i never teach classes at night i don't know why i did that um so we'll see how that goes anywho um i am thinking that i'm going to end up sticking to two classes two classes <laughs> videos a week. I really want my channel to kind of grow organically um, and I just didn't know if doing two videos a week would be enough but I think it's probably going to be better to be consistent and actually do the two videos a week as opposed to saying I'm going to do three week, three videos a week and then maybe my actual loyal subscribers are looking for a third video and they never get it and they might just be like okay I'm over this and leave. I don't know is that a thing? Um, so this is where you guys come in. This is how I, where I need your help because I am a new YouTuber um, and I want to do this for fun. Like, yeah, would it be cool to be monetized and sponsored videos? Yeah, but I mean, that is, that, if that ever happens, first of all, that it's like <laughs> way down the line. So why I really started this channel is because I love YouTube. I love watching my fellow YouTubers and I do it more for like fun and a hobby. And I feel like trying to force myself to do three videos when I just don't have the time for it ends up making it not, so much fun if that makes sense so this is what i need from you guys below two things one uh, three things one if you have a video on meal planning or you have some tips or tricks for mama let me know below two should mama just stick to the two videos should i just be like you know what it is what it is you can only do what you can handle and right now this mama can handle two videos a week and then if anything maybe a surprise third video here and there when I actually have the time to do it and want to do it maybe those videos when I do do an extra video a week can be specific to my little side hustles since I don't want my channel to be all about VIP kid or all about perfectly posh I could do little extra videos here and there every once in a blue moon sporadically on those specific things Stitch Fix. Do we want a Stitch Fix video next week or would y'all prefer me to just put it up on my Insta stories? All right, I've babbled way too much now. I went from having no video to now having too much video and it's going to take me way too long to cut out all this babbling. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope some of my meal planning and some of my uh, unhealthy recipes gave you some motivation to eat the opposite way. I will catch you all on the next one.